Hi everyone. So today we'll see how to take some uh, close-up shots. I am using the SDXL model RealVis for this. You can see till here it is the prompt, and after that I have used the photographer's name. It will not copy the exact style of the photographer because uh, I have seen SDXL cannot do that uh, the way Midjourney does, but it still gives pretty realistic images. And after that, this is like my detailed prompt for creating more realistic images that can be skin tone, lighting, everything. This is uh, the negative prompt that I generally use. Sampling method: I am using DPM plus plus SD Keras. Sampling steps would be 50, and it is a full HD image. And uh, uh, the batch count: I'll raise up to four. Now the CFG scale is 24, which is extremely high. But I'll tell how I am using this. So basically, I have dynamic threshold on. So uh, with dynamic threshold, the mimic scale is 16, and cosine down I have used for mimic mode and CFG mode. And other than that, the scaling start point will be zero. All the other settings are default. right and we'll just collapse it for the sake of it so yeah basically this is it i have enabled the free u integrated the default settings and the self attention so we are done with this now i'll come up and explain other things uh, the dynamic threshold was how i was able to use such a high cfg scale and still the images won't look burned out right for the face i am using a detailer face yolo and uh, you can put anything related to face like gorgeous face lips beautiful eyes these are the things which are generally messed up so other than that uh, nothing would be problematic and this is the negative prom one thing i have tried is that in painting always put it to 512 512 because this is uh, an image which won't need more than that resolution we are just in painting the face part so uh, it would just uh, like reduce the time for generation and with that we can also like collapse the ad tailor for control net i am using a reference image and uh, i am using soft edge soft edge pd net so what happens is that this is pixel perfect and uh, using resize and fill actually makes this image and the generation image of the same dimension so basically if you are using maybe a portrait size or something which is not square it will still generate the background in a way that it can fit a square image rather than cropping the image so uh, in soft edge what i have seen is that it can get pretty much all the lines which you need but it does not face uh, like uh, copy the exact face or details so you are not recreating an image you are just getting the overall pose and composition this is very effective because we do not want to copy anyone's image and uh, the control weight is 0.7 and uh, ending control step is 0.8 i can reduce it slightly more uh, 0.75 my prompt is more important resize and fill so this is done with the first control net the second control net i am using again pixel perfect the same image remember you have to use the same image and i am using depth depth let us plus plus and with that control weight is 0.7 ending control step 0.75 this is balanced resize and fill So this was the whole uh, prompt and the whole parameters. Now we'll generate four images. Okay so the images are ready let's check them out
I think these already look pretty good. I don't know about this one because I feel like there is some kind of problem with the depth. Yeah, but uh, still it is like pretty pretty good. I would say this one looks actually nice. This one is nice. All of these are nice. I try something on this one. These look pretty realistic to me. So what I'll do is that I'll send this to image to image. So you see everything has been imported here directly. Uh, as I do generally, I'll start with the Dream Shaper Turbo. Reduce it to 10. Sampling steps would be 10. CFG scale should be 1. In turbo models, the CFG scale should be minimum. Okay. And here, what I'll do is that resize by. Let's go to batch count. Let's increase it to 4. I would not be using any e detailer here. No dynamic thresholding. Free you integrated is enabled. Self attention is enabled, right? And the strength will bring somewhere around 0 0.32 to 0 0.35 to 0 0.45. I think 0 0.42 generally works best for me. And SD Keras, this would be the same. Now, let's generate some. Okay, personally, I don't think this looks that great. So what we can try is that uh, let's do one thing. Uh, I'll not resize it and I'll reduce it to let's say 0 0.4 and let's enable the editor. And let's generate this again. So now these look more realistic to me. So I think, yeah. So I kind of like these kind of outcomes. And uh, here you can see the skin tone is realistic, but is not completely destroyed by the turbo mode. So uh, yeah, and this is how you can create some close-up shots.